Hey guys and welcome back. So today's video is my new beauty launches for the month of June. I've got 10 things to show you today so I'm going to jump right in, starting off with something very, very exciting that I have known about for ages and I haven't been able to tell you. I actually had to sign an NDA um, which is basically a contract saying I can't tell anyone about this, not even Mike, I couldn't even tell Mike about it, it's been so top secret. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about already and you haven't seen anything about it, prepare to be excited if you're into your gadgets because it is the Dyson Supersonic Hairdryer. Um, I was so, so excited when I heard that Dyson were launching a hairdryer because I love their products anyway. But also, obviously, beauty is like what I do and I'm so into beauty, so it's kind of like a merging of worlds for me. Um, anyway, so Dyson actually got in touch with me ages ago and asked me if I wanted to be part of the launch and to be able to see the product before anyone else. Um, so I've had this for a couple of weeks now and I've actually um, been using it and I have to say it is so, so good. It's basically a whole reinvention of a hairdryer. Like if I take the nozzle off, like that does not look like a hairdryer, does it? How cool is that? I love that it's pink as well. So it's specifically designed to be the optimum temperature. So it is minimizing the heat damage to your hair when you're hair drying. Mike is obsessed with it for the main reason of how quiet it is because I'm gonna turn it on now. And you can actually like have a conversation. They're like pretend to dry my hair. <laughs> you can actually like have a conversation whilst the hairdryer is going on. Obviously, it's still making noise, um, but it's really surprisingly quiet for a hairdryer. It's also the perfect balance of kind of being powerful and having heat, but it's not too hot and not too powerful, so it doesn't really feel like it's damaging your hair. My hair feels really smooth after using it. I've used it today actually, and it just kind of like I don't know. Some hairdryers, I feel like they're too blowy. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I feel like that's so ridiculous. But like I end up with kind of slight, t slightly tangly hair afterwards and this is just really smoothing. It has um, different nozzles that you attach and these are magnetic as well. They just like snap on like that. This is the smoothing one and then they have a smaller styling one and they have a diffuser as well. Another thing that I really like about this is because it's quite short in length at the nozzle, um, you can actually hold it quite close to your head so your arm doesn't get as tired. It looks like it would be kind of funny to hold but it's like I don't know they like balanced it somehow to make it kind of the right weight and it just feels really good it just I absolutely love this and I have to say it is expensive it's £299.99 so pretty much £300 but having said that a lot of the hair dryers I've had in the past I've had for like five years plus so it's something that you use every day and they last a really long time so if you are on the market for a new hairdryer even if you're not on the market for a new hairdryer you should check this out because it really is a very cool piece of beauty tech the coolest piece of beauty tech in fact that i've seen in a very very long time so the dyson supersonic hairdryer comes out mid-june i'm gonna pop a link down below to the dyson website where you can get more info on how the actual product was designed and developed it's actually really interesting if you're a bit of a gadget geek like me you might find that interesting and you can also pre-order them on their website as well so the next really exciting launch that's coming out towards the end of june i think it's the 24th of june is the new benefit brow range these are just three of the products from the range. They actually have nine in total. They are discontinuing a couple of their brow products. They're reformulating quite a few of them and are launching a load of new ones. I've actually done a whole blog post on the entire range because there's a lot of products to talk about. I'm gonna talk you through my three favorites. They've also just revamped all the packaging as well and added new colors. It's a big, it's actually quite a big deal for Benefit. My favorite new additions are the 3D brow tones. This is like a slightly metallic, sounds weird, slightly metallic um, brow gel that just adds a little bit of that 3D kind of look to your brows instead of it just being a slick kind of just normal clear brow gel. Sounds weird but actually really works. If you think about hair, it does have that slight like shimmery metallicness to it. Definitely worth checking that out. The other thing that I absolutely love is this really skinny brow pencil which is the Precisely My Brow. I like my brow pencils really, really slim. Um, and if you're wondering, the color that I have in this is number three, and it comes with a little spoolie on the end as well. I really like this. I love the packaging for it as well. I think it's really slick. It looks like an arrow. And the last thing I'd recommend checking out that they've reformulated and added a new color. This is highbrow. So if you guys use the original highbrow, it's like a kind of pinky glowy pencil. This is highbrow glow. So it actually has a shimmer to it. They've reformulated the original highbrow as well to make it so much creamier. But if you do like a good brow highlight, 
I would recommend checking that out. They're all around the same price as the other Benefit brow products. They're around the kind of 18 pound mark. Another super exciting launch this month is from Lancome. This is their Grandiose liner. I was kind of skeptical when I first saw this, I have to admit, because I'm not sure about like this clicky kind of like, uh, what would you even call it, the handle that allows you to kind of get different angles on it. That's quite gimmicky and actually I don't actually use this. You do have to shake it up as well to kind of like mix it all together because it's water based. But the product inside is seriously amazing. Mine's a bit gunky because I've been using it like every day for the past two weeks. It is the most incredible matte finish liquid liner. As you guys know, I love my liquid liner. I wear them pretty much every single day. The reason why this one is so different, it dries pretty much instantly when you're putting it on and it dries totally matte, but it also has this really, really fine sponge applicator. So it looks like a traditional liquid liner that you get with a brush by the pot, like that you dip it in, but it actually has that kind of felt tip finish liner and it's really fine and it actually bends. It's a very, very flexible nib. So you can really get a very, very fine liquid line where you can build it up and it allows you just to get that real kind of nice curve. Big fan of this, it's coming out on the 15th of June. If you're looking for a new liquid liner, I would definitely recommend checking it out. Next up, one of my favorite brands, YSL, are launching a new entire range of mascaras. It's not just a new mascara, they're, they're launching loads of crazy funky colors. I actually have this one on today, it's called Vinyl Couture. I have to say, when I looked at the brush for this, I thought, Oh my god, it's going to be so clumpy and not necessarily in a good way, but it is clumpy in a good way. I'm not a massive fan of the packaging, it's in kind of like lip gloss lookalike packaging, but the mascara is genuinely really, really good. If you like kind of thick, dark, kind of glossy lashes with lots of volume and you don't mind them kind of being a little bit slick, like almost sticking together a little bit, this is really good. It's £25, it actually came out at the end of May, so it's already out, um, and they do some crazy colours. This one's actually my favourite. It's called I'm the Trouble. The names are really cool as well. So the black one's called I'm the Clash. They have I'm the Excitement, which is a kind of greeny one. I'm the Illusion, which I think is like a metallic brown. I haven't actually looked at this one yet. Yeah, it's like a bronze. That, that'll be really nice actually. I'm gonna try that one out. And then I'm the Fire, which is gold. I have to say, I have tried the gold one and it doesn't really show up. Maybe because I'm blonde. If you had dark hair, this would probably look really good. But look at the blue one. It's the most incredible cobalt blue. So cool for like festival season or the summer if you've got blue eyes especially. Another thing that I'm super excited about from Givenchy, I've had this for like six weeks and I've been wanting to just use it all up and show you guys in videos and stuff, but it doesn't come out until June. So I've saved it for this. This is the, what's it called? The Rouge... Perfecto lip balm. Look at this packaging. Givenchy do have similar packaging to this for their lipsticks, but I just absolutely love that it's the long, slim version and it has the um, baby pink faux leather around it as well. I just think it's so luxe looking and it has the little studs on the bottom. This is one of those pH activated lip balms, so when you put it on, it slightly changes colour depending on your natural pH of your body, so it goes a little bit darker. It's almost like a Your Lips With Better lip balm. It's plumping, it's smoothing, it's just really gorgeous. Total princess product, like you don't really need it, but it just has the sexiest packaging ever. It's 26 pounds, super expensive, but really gorgeous. If you're into the Dior lip balms, you need to get this in your life because it really is gorgeous. This is gonna be a handbag staple for me. I've already been carrying it around in my handbag for a few weeks and just, I love it, I really love it. Um, from L'Oreal, they've actually got two new mascaras. I have to say, I'm pretty behind on the Miss Hippie. I think this came out in like April, but I wanted to mention it because it is really, really good. I didn't like Miss Manga, but Miss Hippie is seriously, seriously volumizing. And it's it. they've kind of um, marketed it as like festival lashes, but I don't think it's very festival-y at all. I think it's quite 60s, like um, really, really thick, kind of almost like a twiggy kind of look. Whereas I don't think that's that festival. I think festival's more kind of boho, a bit less clumpy. I don't know, maybe that's just in my mind, but Miss Hippie's really good. That's actually not that new though, so I'm not gonna talk about it for too much longer. And the other one that's new from L'Oreal is the False Lash Superstar in red carpet black. This is the one that has the um, lash primer on one end and then the black mascara on the other end. I have to say, this is so, so good. However, I think you can get the, the same effect with Miss Hippie and without the like two-step system. So um, both of these are equally as good. I actually tried them on one on either eye. Um, yesterday just to put them like properly head to head before I made this video and they are pretty similar so two good mascara launches from L'Oreal. 
Something's coming out from MAC that had me freaking out over the packaging is the Chris Chang collection. It looks like this. He's a Chinese designer, I believe, and he's done this collaboration with MAC. The packaging is insane. It's so cool. It's like this crazy graphic, multicolored um, kind of it, it almost looks like wrapped packaging, so it's like stretched in certain elements. So like if you look at the lipsticks, it's like stretched over the sides. I just think this is the coolest packaging ever. However, a lot of the colours are a little bit out there, like the lipsticks, most of them I wouldn't wear. I've got three things from the collection that I think are worth looking at. If you love this packaging and you want to get something from the collection, um, that is so me. I'm just such a sucker of packaging. The first thing is the um, translucent finishing powder, something that we can all use and, you know, it's like universal colour really because it's not, it's translucent. Um, so yeah, that's a good one. And then they've also done this gorgeous cream colour base in this coral colour. I think this would be so, so nice for summer. Cream colour bases are kind of funny because depending on the colour, people use them either on their eyes or on their cheeks or on their lips as highlighters, things like that. So this is more of a blush colour. So I would use this as a blush, but also probably on my lips as well as a little bit of a cream lip product. Really like that colour. And then the last thing is the lipstick in Vermilion V. It's a really pretty cream matte finish as well. And it has like a slight bit of oranginess to it, but it's not orange. Like I really don't like orangey, orangey reds, but I like this. Next up are three eyeshadow palettes from Ciate. How cool are these? Winking. That one doesn't change quite so much. And then this one. Hello. <laughs> these are called Pretty Fun and Fearless. Um, which I quite like the concept of these. They've done three palettes coming out all at the same time. Pretty, fun and fearless, as you might be able to guess. And they all have different colours in them. My favourite one, unsurprisingly, is pretty because my makeup tends to be along that vein as opposed to... The fearless one is very dark and smoky and the fun one is kind of bright colours. The pretty one is kind of a bit more neutral, but it does have like some kind of mauvey purpley tones to it and a little bit of interesting kind of, it's like a darker brown, but then also like a terracotta color. The texture of these shadows are really nice. They're really, really creamy and blendable. And they also have double the amount of the base color, which is the one in the center, which I think is so good because that's always the one that you kind of use up first. So just to really quickly show you the other colors in the other two palettes, the Fun palette is really bright. I totally wouldn't wear those four colours, but the other ones are actually really nice. So if you do wear brighter colours, I feel like it's a good blend between wearable and crazy. Um, and then the Fearless palette is like a smoky palette. So it's a little bit darker, like that. I'm actually gonna be giving away a full set of all three of these on my Snapchat. So if you're not following me on Snapchat, head over to Snapchat, my username is just Fleur de Force, and I'm gonna be putting up the giveaway at a very similar time to when this video goes live, so make sure you head over there. I love the stars on this, how cool is that? Um, yes, moving on, two more things to talk about. The first one is the Elemis Micellar Water. I love Micellar Water and I love Elemis. I've been using this for a couple of days, and I have to say, it's really good. It actually really is efficient. It's called the Smart Cleanse Micellar Water. Love the bottle, love the product don't love the price, it's £24 and there are so many good ones on the market that are a lot cheaper. I just don't know how this will sell because of that, but it genuinely is a really good product and that launches this month. And then last but not least, Charlotte Tilbury's launching her Hot Lips collection, which I know there's been so much hype about. So basically she's partnered with a charity called Women for Women International, which helps women from all over the world, from um, conflict zones who have survived, um, and helps them kind of rebuild their lives. Really good cause, and she's partnered with 12 celebrities to create 12 new lip colours. One pound from each sale goes to charity. I think that should probably be higher, but it's better than nothing. Um, one pound of the 23 pounds um, RRP for the first two months that these lipsticks come out goes to charity. So if you're thinking of buying a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, you might as well get one of these colours because at least a pound goes to charity. So the celebrities involved are Miranda Kerr, Nicole Kidman, Cindy Crawford, Kate Bosworth, Salma Hayek, Liv Tyler, Laura Bailey, Poppy Delevingne, Emily Ratajkowski, Helena Bonham Carter, Karina Lau, who I think is a Chinese actress, and Kim Kardashian West. So massive, massive names. I can imagine the Kim Kardashian West one will sell out because it's Kim. Um, these are coming out, I think on the 27th of June and they're 23 pounds. The one downside to these is only a pound goes to the charity. I think it probably could have been a bit more, um, but it's a really good cause anyway. So if you're excited about the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, they're coming out on the 27th of June. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I do this every month. So if you're not already subscribed, click this button here. I hope you have an amazing day, guys. Bye.